in one of the towns where Tanner went Oh, this is through. one of the yes. towns he yes. went through. Yes. Wow. Oh, and they're saying Samba. Wow. What are they saying? They say the, uh, the woman is uh, hitting the can yeah. for, for us, everybody, for, for us to dance. To dance? To dance samba. Oh, dance samba. 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 Uh-huh. Go ahead. She looks like my cousin and Lord lady that's singing right now. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to get there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna be. I, ain't no need of me bring my high heel shoes because I'm gonna dance the heel on. Go ahead, girl. There you go. Uh huh. And see, we always wear those little dresses like what they got on when we go to church. Especially if you were about to get baptized, you had dresses like that, or Easter, mm -hmm. you had dresses like those. Mm -hmm. So where is this? This is like this in is, the heart of town? This is in Santa Mara. It's like an uh, association for all the groups. Yeah. Of somebody harder in the region. In the region. So oh, they so they have, they have oh they have a whole association. And then uh, the association was responsible for organizing the groups. Yeah. The, the process, for the recording. The, for so the this is this is the same one you gave me? Uh, this is in the same region, uh, another another other another groups. recording. Okay, another uh, sets of groups. Okay. Of groups, There's hundreds right? of them. Yeah. Wow. So Samba and Cotton Blay go together? Yeah, Samba de Roda, uh, it's like a, a jam, musical jam. Got you, so genre, you yeah. Have, you have, uh, in different cities, you have some specificities. Okay. Know, from each city. Yeah. But they are all, all from the same region. Wow. And they all, they all got uh, this association to organize yeah. uh, and the mediation with UNESCO. Okay, of the so beautiful. Very powerful. Yes, and, leaders in the association. Yes, yes. Wonderful. Yeah. And so the women dominate this. Yeah, women, yes. Uh -huh. Mostly women are Wow. That is yeah. awesome. Very, very yeah, process. yeah, I'm trying to tell you. Everybody I'm looking at look like people here. This organization of the, the group, mm -hmm. then the, the title of the They more did that. Was, was the organization. Was the organization, yeah. That is all. Okay, now I see a guy here too, and I yeah, saw the guy earlier guys. dancing, but there's a couple of them. You're <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, they're just a couple of them flinging it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the women are the traditions keepers. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Right. Well, how hundred children do? Hundred daughters, she a queen, quite a thing like that. And hundred know if hundred deal with me, hundred go. I know what a going on. Now, hundred will watch this your program all the time and thing like that. Y'all ain't getting me crack my teeth with Xavier for now, any? Well, no Xavier and teeth. This another Xavier, yeah. How <laughs> hundred to do Xavier? Fine. Doing well. Yes. Yes. Now y'all get it, right? Y'all like he was like fine. He paused on me because right? he's used to speaking Portuguese, right? Yes, that's what French you know. And French and Portuguese. Ah, okay, Jean-Paul <laughs> Francais. Okay. So now, guess what? A lot of you probably yet yeah, we the crack we teeth like that. They thing like that and say, "Oh, I wish I know how for doing a thing like that." Or some of y'all go, "Oh my gosh, she did it again. I didn't understand the word she said." But y'all know this is Gullah Geechee TV, so you gotta hear Gullah, right? Well, some of you have tried to read it, or you often ask me. Aren't you going to write a book totally in Gullah? No, because y'all can't understand if I talk. You can't understand if you read it, right? But y'all have heard me talk about Dr. Lorenzo Dow Turner. Well, that's how Xavier and I connected. Xavier emailed me from Brazil. Yes. So many of you may have been to Bahia or want to go like me, all right? And you have heard about Bahia being a very African place. Well, Xavier, tell the audience how many Africans were brought into Bahia? Okay, uh, Brazil for about four centuries received nine million nine Africans. Nine million. 
which is about 15, 15 times more than the United States. Wow. wow. So uh, we now have about 75% of African descent people in Bali. Really? Uh, 6,000 Kanomble houses mm. that uh, relate directly to their African ancestry. Yes. And so that's exactly the reason why Lorenzo Turner, mm -hmm. in 1940, mm -hmm. after, after doing 10 years of research here, yes. uh, in the Sea Islands, went to Bahia yes. because he knew that there, within the religious groups of Candomblé, mm -hmm. Afro-Brazilian religion, he could find African languages being spoken right. and sung. Absolutely. And he did amazing work Yes, of 329 did. recordings wow. on discs, and it remained untouched about 75 years. 75 and years. And so we now yeah. finally edited it and brought back to the Colombian communities these recordings. The recordings, yeah, yes. like a couple of them that I have my <laughs> hands on, and y'all know where these are going. In the Galagichi Alke Bulan archive. So, see, these are not the kind of disc he's talking about. We're going to show you a picture in a little while of the disc we're talking about and how people recorded field recordings yes. back in the 1930s and 40s. Yes. Yeah, but this is amazing for you to get from those field recordings mm -hmm. to these recordings. You said seven years yes. it took for you to do this? Yeah, it's a lot of material, 329 That's it. That is a lot. <laughs> uh, Lorenzo Turner went from Nashville to New York, yeah. took a boat from New York to Rio, mm -hmm. Rio to Bahia, wow. uh, thousands of miles, yes. and then he remained seven months recording the most uh, important eminent priestesses and mm. priests of I'm African descent. Late. Yeah. And uh, so that's the only proof we have today in the 21st century that mm -hmm. African languages were still spoken on a daily basis in, in the 1940s in Bahia. So wait a minute. So you mean to tell me that if Lorenzo Del Turno, who is black, he is a black person. I want to say Gullah Geechee, but I can't totally grab hold of him just yet. He close by in North Kakalaki, mm -hmm. but I, he right on our border. So y'all just watch out. I'm still looking. Um, so here it is. This black man, during segregation, yeah. is able to travel to all the places you mentioned and get out of the U.S., yes. get to your country. But his work, he brought back here. So how is it that in your country they didn't keep any records or anything that showed these African languages? How is yes. that? So Turner wanted to go back to Brazil. Right. He never was able because he was an African-American scholar. Right. And by that time, in the 1940s, 1950s, it was extremely hard. Oh, yeah. Even Absolutely. maybe more than today yeah. to find funding. Right. So it took him 10 years to go to Africa. Mm. And he went to Togo, to Nigeria, mm -hmm. to Cameroon. Mm -hmm. uh, and these recordings also have never gone back yeah. to Africa. Right. And so he wanted to release, he wanted to publish discs mm -hmm. on Brazil on his recordings, but mm -hmm. he was never able, he, wasn't able he died to in it. 1972. Right. So uh, what's amazing is that he has done a pioneering mm -hmm. work Absolutely. here in the Sea Islands Absolutely. on Goa. Yeah. Uh, he has done a pioneering work in, in Bahia, yeah. in Brazil, yes. on African languages Absolutely. and on Afro-Brazilian Afro religions. Right. And then 10 years later, in 1951, he went to Africa, Africa and did amazing recordings. recordings and yeah. in 2019, mm -hmm. we still don't know much about him. Right. So this tells a lot on how institutionalized racism, racism works in the United States, yep. in Brazil, yep. and all over. All over. So mm -hmm. it's about obviously him being an African American mm -hmm. scholar. Right. He was the grandson of slaves. Right. And the fifth man to go to Harvard, to Harvard and to get a master's, get a degree. master's degree. So yeah. he's just like was one of the most brilliant intellectuals Absolutely. in the 20th century mm -hmm. America right. and people don't know about and it. And still don't know about it. And so, it's unfortunate. So we need to gather. Exactly. We need to bring people from Bahia mm -hmm. here, here and to know about the Gola Kichi community. Yes. And we have to have you there in Bahia. Absolutely. And we have to go back to Africa also. Together. But with yes. these recordings, yes, uh, because no one studied or thought of taking them 
that's that's where that. Africa, right. Or here. Right. So, and so the people go, yeah, they did show. And they're going to get that. Yes. Because, like, you've been interviewing me about your documentary mm -hmm. that's going to accompany all this work already. So you have this literature, which now adds to the record yes. in your country yes. of knowing these yes. African languages yes. were definitely spoken in. So you have written literature and you have the audio to back it yes. up. But now you're doing a documentary. Mm -hmm. So now, when will the documentary come out? And I know people who are watching here are going to say, can we see it? You know, and will we be able to understand it? Mm -hmm. Or will it only be in Portuguese? No. What are you doing with so the documentary? Everything, everything is bilingual. Excellent. This uh, catalog is always awesome. in English. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have the f next one released in October. Yes. Four CDs with the bio recordings. Yes. Bilingual also, mm -hmm. the book that will be. Together. together and the documentary will be released in November most likely of this year in at Indian University where they have all the recordings excellent and uh, it will be also sub, uh, subtitled in English mm -hmm. and all this has been made especially for the Afro-Brazilian communities, communities because yes. they are who, who it's are about. the true owners exactly. of this material exactly. like Girl, each people right, are, are the, the owners, owners of what Lawrence was recorded in the nineteen thirties. Exactly. And he would obviously be Want out us with us on this. Exactly. Uh, I yeah. think in a way if we can repatriate yes. uh, the this girl is what we're on. that's yes. exactly what we would want. That's what we and to have them edited. And right. to go to children right. and to the community in general. In general. So that's right. exactly what we want. And that's exactly how you and I connected. Yes. Because <laughs> when you connected to the Gullah Geechee Al Archive, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I tell you, we're working on a massive digitization process mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And so it's been a blessing to hear about this work mm -hmm. in the midst of the work we're focused on of Gullah mm -hmm. Geechee, because we made the same contact yes. with them. And to find out that the university is in a massive digitization mm -hmm. project putting all this in formats that you and I can access, yes. but then you and I working together mm -hmm. to make sure our larger global exactly. community yes. has access to this yes. and that no one forgets who Lorenzo Dow Turner is. Exactly. And more than that, no one forgets that we are African people yes. and that we are linked. Because the same way that you said in your country, there's no record that showed all the African languages spoken mm -hmm. there. There was no record here other than Lorenzo Dow Turner's exactly. book until people start drawing from his work and then wanting to come here and do a lot of linguistic studies mm -hmm. on us over and over and over again, interviewing me over and over and over, interviewing other native speakers mm -hmm. and singers mm -hmm. over and over to find out do we still sing these songs, do we still, write, do we still speak the language, mm -hmm. do we still even praise the way mm -hmm. that he documented, mm -hmm. like we've been talking about the show. Mm -hmm. you know, and it's links there. So now you told me something very interesting when I started doing our polyrhythm, mm -hmm. what is this called where you are in Bahia? So we have the exact same within the religion of Conomble, oh, and we have the exact same in the Samba de Roda, which uh -huh. is the root of the deepest root of Samba in Brazil, yes. which is exactly from Bahia, yes. from the uh, this region around the Bay of All Saints, right. which we have about 85% of African descent people, yes. and so this was the first uh, musical expression to be recognized as intangible heritage by UNESCO in 2005, wow. and that's exactly the same the thing. The same clapping. class, yes. yes. That obviously comes from yeah, the motherland. Yeah, from the motherland, exactly. And what was so interesting as well is your team, we were all talking about this, that the reason that exists is for the same reason we have it, the drums were banned. Yes. But you were telling me that when I'm talking to you saying, well, 1740, yeah. here, you told me 1975, did I hear you correctly, that yes. drums were still being banned yes. in 1975? Yes. How is that? The police could uh, stop any uh, religious manifestation and then take the drums until 1975. The worst wow. of the persecution was in the 1930s, yeah. but until 1975, in Bahia, which is the most black state, state in, Brazil, in Brazil, it was not allowed officially to have Conomble, or you oh. had to ask the permission to the police to, to have it. What? So it's been re uh, considered a religion officially yeah. by the Brazilian government okay. only since, uh, since, since the 1970s. Yes. Wow. And then you have a second wave of uh, new Pentecostal churches mm -hmm. who are persecuting and demonizing Conomble right now. very strongly, burning 
townhouses in what? Rio de Janeiro, the favelas, yes. Wow. Over the, recently, yeah. this year. Yeah. So uh, the struggle still continues. Goes down, it continues. still continues. Yes. And so this subterfuge and this oppression is still continuing too. Yes. Because that means that if people are going to be oppressed, but your faith, you can't let your faith be in jeopardy. That means that we have also then an underground movement likely that's developing out of this as well. But then the oppressive part of it is that even in the media, nobody's talking about this. Everybody's distracted with all other kinds of nonsense that's going on. We've heard about you know political things mm -hmm. that are going in Brazil, but no one ever said to the point of religious persecution, yes. to the point of trying to deny the Africanism Yes. that is there. And then you mentioned in the 1930s. Well, let's go back to that. Lorenzo Dal Turner was yes. traveling around in the exactly. 1930s, 40s, the 50s. Yes. So you mean he was there in the heart of it, and now we're exactly. reliving this? Yes. yes. Wow. Same. I would say worse because New Pentecostals uh, are backing the new president of Brazil was absolutely oh, illegitimate and on. they are demonizing on an e on a daily basis yeah. every African religion, religion in, Brazil. in Brazil. So Canomblé is being attacked on an everyday Targeted basis. Targeted to the point where they're yes. burning down yes. the houses. Yes. That is and so what sick. is beyond that is obviously a deep racism of course. which is the intent of de-Africanizing. Right. Brazil. Brazil. And Take just like here. Africanity. Absolutely. Out. It's just like in, in the U.S. Yes. With all the black churches yes. that are being burned. Mm -hmm. You know, in the 50s and the 60s, black churches were bombed yes. and things. And people remember that. But then folks, you know, their memories start fading. So now what happens is there could be five black churches burned in the United States, but the media won't cover that. They'll rather talk about tweet somebody tweeting something instead of actually talk about this demonization yes. that's happening, this de-Africanization yes. that's happening, this racism that's happening, the things that cause people to be annihilated that these are the things that lead to entire cultures of people being wiped out, that this is cleansing, this is the process that happens. And people then, if you say, well, all this stuff is going on now, what are we going backwards in time? Then people who are in the U.S. think it's only happening in the U.S. They're not thinking, oh, no, we're in North America and in South America, here's a mirror image yes. of the same thing that all amounts to the same thing, racism, global racism, and the demonization of Africanism, yes. being an African person. So could you only imagine, like you said, the struggles Lorenzo Dow Turner went through at the time he went through them. And here his book is called Africanisms in the Gullah Dialect, mm -hmm. right? And even to this moment, people still don't want to accept that. Like they don't want to accept that Gullah is an African language. They still want to throw it in as some type of, oh, but it's a dialect of English. I said, when I want to chill in here, the people are like, are they show the crack of teeth like they show English? Huh? <laughs> then they go, huh? Uh, what did you say? I said, right. When have you ever heard anyone speak like that in English? <laughs> you know? And if you speak English, how come you didn't understand me, right? <laughs> so there's no way our language is any part of English. It's not from the Germanic tree, and that's not where our roots are. Just like with Cotton Blade, it's just like with our praise houses and our ring shout tradition. That doesn't come from Europe. That comes from the motherland, and that comes from the survivors of all of what our ancestors went through before. So for me, that circle of connection is what brought you and I together. Mm -hmm. That's fortunately, we have the internet. <laughs> that, that makes it get to us even that much quicker now, and that we can say we know who we are and that this is family this is that reconnecting mm -hmm. spirit and energy and so I know that you showed me a clip mm -hmm. of like your teaser reel yes when is that going to be available and is it going to be on Vimeo is it going to be on YouTube yes. that folks can get a little look before yeah. November because I know <laughs> folks are like wow they talked about some deep stuff I want to know more like is there a way that folks will be able to see that yeah I checked with the crew mm -hmm. and as soon as possible okay. we'll make it available oh, and I would say anyway it would be soon because it has to be released in October okay so it's coming it's coming it's <laughs> yes. coming it's coming it won't make you wait you won't make yeah. us wait too long so now when you actually release the document 
documentary in November over yeah. here at the university. What will happen next? Are you going to travel with it? Yeah. Will people in the U.S. get to see it here in the Gullah Geechee Nation? Are we going to get to see it before you come to our festival next year? Mm. You got to show it at yes. our festival next year for sure. <laughs> so, but we'll post uh, it. First, it will be exhibited in October. In October, mm -hmm. within kind of uh, within kind of the communities kind of like, because of they are That's uh, home. first That's most, it. Yeah. Uh, important people. Absolutely. You know, yeah, this is so their story. That's the place. But uh -huh. we need to bring them, right. really. So next yeah. year, we'll yeah. be bringing them. We have a second uh, documentary project mm -hmm. that will probably be made in 2020, okay. and we want to really focus it on the connection between Bahia mm -hmm. and the Guala area. Oh, that's awesome. Here, because and we have to bring these people together. Together. And yeah. to show their connection mm -hmm. and how deeply uh, Rooted in it. Yes, of course. Yeah. That's the same history. Yeah. yeah. Many things are very alike. Absolutely. Uh, so it's through language, music, and religion. And religion. And food. And, and food. Way like of we were talking about. Yeah. We were talking about eating so, after the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that, that's uh, very important because, yeah. as you say, people think that uh, maybe racism is a specialty of the, the US. United States. And it's not. No. Brazil is getting worse. So uh, the new president is called the Brazilian Trump. You know? Oh God, that's what they actually <laughs> call. Oh, I, wow. I may say that maybe it's worse. So you can imagine. Wow. What it is. So yes. So the way that there is a neoliberal, new fascist way of trying to this this Africanized world mm -hmm. is going on everywhere. Everywhere. Even yeah. in Africa. And see, so, uh, we got what unite. Lorenzo Turner would be proud of, of his work yes. was to see that people. Can relate to what he's done about 80 years ago and to know yes. how important it is for this community Absolutely. the Gullah, Geechee community, yes, the, the people Bahia, in Bahia, Bahia, the people in, in Africa. Africa. So, we Absolutely. need to make this work alive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, you know, with us being alive, it's yes. already alive, <laughs> you know, because here it is, you know, this is the memories of the Afro Atlantic. Y'all see that? I know, I just read a little bit of it. Y'all say, Queen, how many languages you know? I know enough to get me by. But yeah, so, but yeah, it is powerful because I think many of us could look at this and look at the various images in here and think it's cousins of ours. Yes. It's family. Because oh, by we the all way, family. everything is online. It is? Yes. So I give oh, you the, really? the links. The link. Oh, everything oh see, y'all getting goodies that I didn't yes. even know was there. See, y'all about to get goodies. So yeah. you can find the PDF. Wonderful. Online, and you can find the everything on SoundCloud. Okay. More Afro Atlanticas, which uh, we translated as Afro Atlantic Legacies. Oh, but beautiful. I'll send you all Okay, all excellent. Links. So that way, y'all didn't got to see that. Y'all always want what the queen got. Why y'all always got Teeth Meister? <laughs> now you see, he can give them all the hundred children who watch Gullah Get Your TV. But them children who don't watch them, don't tell them nothing about the link. We gonna put it up there though for hundred children to have them. But this is a blessing for sure. And so I'm so looking forward to the next volumes because instead of two, there'll be four yes. CDs and that still won't be all of them out of no, 300 no, no. and something there's recordings no, no. and then there's 500 yes. and something recordings of Gullah Geechee yes. we're thinking so we got a long way so mm -hmm. don't y'all get all upset and tell me what taking y'all so long look here did you hear how long it took Lorenzo Dow Turner to make this journey of connection much less how long we both have been at this work making this connection happen and to finally be right up on Sintel Nolan together oh this is a blessing beyond belief and so already Hunter Chiller can go on and get ready for the Gullah Geechee Nation International Music and Movement Festival in August. We could be in Chuck Town 2020. He could do it. And some we family from Bahia who I did it too. And so don't you let them beat you there, okay? You play it now so you can be there. And then you really get to really feel what we're feeling because you'll be there to live the connection because that's what it's about. And a lot of people, I know we both hear it. People are unnerved right now. They're, they're shook by all of this de-Africanization yeah. that's happening. So all the more we as African people have to keep holding on to our African traditions and culture. And we have to recognize that we are the people who created civilization. We're the first people in the world. So I always tell people, we going to We will be the last too, okay? It's not that anybody will ever be able to mm -hmm. eliminate us. We will always be here. And it's just the remnant of us who are holding on to the traditions and culture that we got 
to stitch them all together mm -hmm. and make that quilt that brings the family mm -hmm. together and keep the warmth there. Exactly. And so I am so happy. I got <laughs> new cousins in, you're right, you And things like that. This is a blessing for her, honey, y'all. And especially with this treasure, I'm going to be looking through this. I can't wait for my mom to look uh -huh. at it. So she can say, who are these people? That looks like someone. So I know she's going to say it. And so I'm so happy you're here on the island. Mm -hmm. But then you're going to be coming back and yes. again and again and again. And I'll be coming to you mm -hmm. again and again and again. And so that we can continue the mm -hmm. work that Dr. Turner has done because I think that a lot of academicians mm -hmm. have taken this work, made it theirs just to get their DR in front of their name and their PH&D behind. Mm -hmm. But with what we're doing is to bring back that which was stolen to the communities. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about having a living legacy. And I think that's what he wanted all along. I don't think he wanted his things to just be gathered no. in dust somewhere, but to truly prove that these are living languages that are attached to living people mm -hmm. who have intellect, have culture, have spirituality, and that lives on beyond us in this physical body right here. So I just feel him in this room right now. Mm -hmm. I just see that proud black man just mm -hmm. sitting, standing up there, shaking mm -hmm. his head at us like, <laughs> yes, do what you got to do. You know, so definitely we're going to get the funds. We're going to come back to me. I'm coming to you. Mm -hmm. And so that we can keep this connection alive because our children's children's children need to know what this is. Yeah. And it can't let them take these drums all the door. So, honey, children, you know if you're there with me, this year, the one who I know. Peace and blessing, everybody. Keep shouting. Yes. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful.